Today, Steve Crothers, the Crocodile Dundee of physics, continues his discussion of special relativity. It really makes you wonder, what is going on in physics? Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. I'm your guest host, Steve Crothers. Today's topic is the idea of four-dimensional space-time in the theory of relativity. The real world is characterized by four dimensions, length x, breadth y, height z, and time t, where the x, y, and z axes are perpendicular to each other, but time is not. Length, breadth, and height are measured in units of distance, such as the meter, while time has its own units, such as seconds. Using this system, any time and place can be denoted by the four coordinates t, x, y, and z. Because distance and time have different units, time or time squared cannot be added to distance or distance squared. A distance or length can only be obtained from time by multiplying time by speed. If a truck travels a distance s in a time t at a constant speed v, then the speed is the distance divided by the time as shown by this equation. Speed is not a new dimensional coordinate and is not perpendicular to the x, y, and z axes. Now consider a truck traveling at some constant speed v on flat ground from point A directly to point B in a time t, as in this figure. The distance a truck travels, sigma, is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. This equation, the Pythagorean theorem, is a distance formula which we can use to solve for sigma. The hypotenuse is not perpendicular to x and y, and it is not a new dimensional coordinate. Since sigma is the speed of the truck multiplied by the time of travel, the squared length of the hypotenuse is given by this equation. The hypotenuse vt is still not perpendicular to the x and y axes. Subtracting the vt term from both sides of the hypotenuse equation gives this equation which is still the equation for the hypotenuse, not a new distance formula. Let's extend our truck's journey in this figure into three dimensions to include height. Here the hypotenuse from A to B is S. By applying the theorem of Pythagoras twice, first to get sigma from X and Y, then to get S from sigma and Z, we obtain this equation. Substituting VT for S results in this equation. The hypotenuse vt is not perpendicular to the x, y, and z axes and is not a new dimensional coordinate. After subtracting the vt term from each side, we get this equation. Like before, this is simply the equation for the hypotenuse, not a new distance formula. Since speed v is not independent of the x, y, and z, the product vt is not independent of the x, y, and z either. Now let's graduate from geometry students to relativity scientists. How? By replacing the truck with a ray of light. This only changes the speed to the speed of light, c, resulting in this equation. This is still the hypotenuse of a right triangle, not a new distance formula. The product ct is not a new dimensional coordinate and is not perpendicular to the x, y, and z axes. Amazingly, the special theory of relativity claims this is a new distance formula and the product term ct is a new dimensional coordinate perpendicular to the x, y, and z axes. Special relativity theory rewrites the hypotenuse equation in this form and calls it the four-dimensional space-time interval, which can have values of s squared equals zero, s squared less than zero, and s squared greater than zero. In this case, s squared equals zero gives the path of array of light in four-dimensional space-time, but the mere act of subtracting the ct term from each side of the hypotenuse equation does not convert ct into a new dimensional coordinate perpendicular to the x, y, and z axes. The space-time interval would be valid only for s squared equals zero because it is the actual hypotenuse, but there is no valid four-dimensional space-time continuum for s squared equals zero, a new dimension has not been added. This case is exactly like our truck. As a result, the s squared less than zero and s squared greater than zero conditions also cannot have any valid meaning. In order to have a four-dimensional coordinate space where all coordinate dimensions are on the same footing of length, 
Four independent dimensional coordinates are required. This is not the case with relativity theory. All space-time diagrams are really just graphs of a hypotenuse plotted against itself. The product term CT is no more a new dimensional coordinate and no more perpendicular to the X, Y, and Z axes than other combinations of the X, Y, and Z, such as these, all of which have the units of distance. If you are interested in additional mathematical detail, you will find it in these papers linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed our application of the Theorem of Pythagoras to reveal the flawed origins of the four-dimensional space-time continuum. Comments are always welcome below, and we hope to see you soon in another video.